Did you know that every banana you have ever eaten is genetically identical? See, what we tend to think of as a banana is actually a specially bred and cloned cultivar known as the Cavendish, designed to be sweet, fast-growing, and easy to peel. The Cavendish rose to dominate the banana marketplace in the 1950s when the Panama disease ravaged the crops of the previous popular banana cultivar, the Gros Michel, which, as a plant specially bred and cloned to have no seeds, was a sterile genetic abomination. Now, without the genetic mutation and evolution that plants undergo when their seeds are planted, every single Gros Michel plant had the same weaknesses and immunities. Now, a lack of biodiversity might make sense from a marketing perspective because it allows companies to offer a product that always tastes the same, but ultimately, lacking biodiversity leaves crops vulnerable to collapse. We're doing the same thing now with the Cavendish banana. We're doing the same thing now. We're doing the same thing now. See, we humans, we love to eat fruit, but we spit out the seeds. We don't like things we can't chew, things that are hard to swallow. We don't like it when things are different. We're afraid of things we don't understand. We like consistent logos, matching colors, burgers that taste the same from Alaska to Arkansas. We like boxes of chocolate because they give us the illusion of variety, but we all know it's just a permutation of milk chocolate, dark chocolate, calmer, nuka, coconut. It's comforting to know what you're going to get. We don't like people that don't fit in our boxes, that don't fit the normal permutations. Three basic skin types, four basic religions, exactly two genders, gay or straight, rich or poor, patriot or immigrant, educated or criminal, as if these things are mutually exclusive. We want everyone to be the same. Find the same jokes funny, find the same folks scary, find the same chicks pretty. We like our beauty like we like our education. Standardize. We like our privilege like we like our groceries. Subsidized. And I keep trying to check my privilege, but privilege just keeps writing me blank checks. I'm lucky. I don't have to say any of this. I benefit from my complicity in this society of cultivated variety. This shit is bananas! <laughs> Privilege is ripe, it is soft and sweet. I enjoy it, even though I know that somewhere, someone who is more poor than I will ever be has suffered so I can have this sweetness. And so it comes to me so cheap. Personally, I'd rather choke on the seeds. Yeah.